Hello everyone, my name is Ajay and today I'm going to demonstrate how to install Windows 10 on GNS3. If you have seen my previous video, I demonstrated how to install GNS3 on cloud using client server relation. If you have not seen it, I will request you to watch that first. Once the installation is done, you can launch GNS3, which is installed here on the Windows machine, and you are going to see this as a client. To install Windows 10, you need to click on New Template. Once you click on the New Template, you are going to see these three options. Choose Install and Appliance from GNS3 Server, which is recommended. These are nothing but the ready-made template. You can install firewalls, you can go for the guests, you can go for the router and switches. So choice is up to you. Since we are talking about Windows machine, that is going to be the part, part of the guest. Under guest option, you can see there's an option for Windows and Windows Server. We are going for Windows 10. So choose this one and hit install button. The next option server type that is going to be the default one as you can see these two options are grayed out you have only one option install the appliance on the main server and click next please choose gaming binary that is also going to be the default option click next now you can see it is asking what type of windows you want to run so you have option windows 10 Windows 8.1, Windows 7. So option is going to be with you. And these missing file, we need to make it green. So here you can see this option is green. And the reason behind, I'm having those images on the main server already. Otherwise, what you can do if, for example, if you are going to install it first time, so since I have chosen this option 8.1 this image is not there on the server if you have image already you can import it or you can download it it is going to redirect you to the Microsoft official website which we are going to see here so the moment you click on the download you will be redirected after the redirection it will take you to the developer.microsoft.com and from here you need to choose the virtual machines since we are going to install Windows 10 with MSH and you need, you need to choose the VM platform also. So if you recall it, those are supposed to be your VMware images. So choose the Windows machine which you would like to install and choose the platform as VMware. And then download the zip file. Since I already had those files already on the server, so I'm going to say next. And the moment you click on the next, it is going to ask, would you like to install Windows 10 Edge? Click yes. Now there is a warning. These virtual machines expire after 90 days. And your username and password, your credentials basically are going to be these. Click on finish. Your Windows appliance is successfully installed and we can see there's an added icon here. Now you need to create a project first before you can use any of these devices So create a project. Now you can simply drag and drop like other router and switches this Windows machine here on the main screen. Right click on this machine and hit the start. Now I can see my Windows machine is ready. You can go to the console and you're going to see this screen from where you can use the credentials. Those were provided during the installation. This is going to be the default username and this is going to be the actual password which you need to use. Inside the Windows machine, if I do the IP config, I don't see anything and the reason behind this machine is not connected or not having any ethernet connection to any of the appliance you can add this nat cloud here and connect the nick one to the nat zero to give this machine access to the internet 
Now we can see when you do the IP config, there's an IP address which is assigned from the DSCP and the reason behind your Windows NIC it is already configured for the DSCP. So the moment you connect it to the NAT cloud, it is going to get an IP address from the DSCP pool. To test the internet connectivity, you can ping 8888 and now I see I'm getting the response from a 8888 which is a internet hosted IP address. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.